song is dedicated to the European currency, the Euro. Viera Berkiova is something of a superstar in Slovakia these days after winning a popular television casting show in the country. And with her song about the Euro, she's also made the currency popular in Slovakia ahead of its introduction in January. Viera is only 17. She attends acting school in the capital, Bratislava. I've talked to a lot of Slovaks, and all of my friends are receptive towards the Euro. They're all looking forward to it. Everyone I know is in favor of the Euro. Slovakia is getting ready for the switchover on January the 1st. Since the start of December, banks have been selling starter kits to help people get acquainted with the currency. The kit contains about 16 euros. One euro is equivalent to around 30 karuna, or crowns, the country's outgoing currency. German company Broza has its operations on the outskirts of the city. Reprogramming software has been a major headache, but it will soon pay off. In future, the company will find it much easier to deal with billing and accounting for both domestic and international customers. Broza is a supplier of car doors to automaker VW. Managing director Axel Maliner thinks the euro will provide a competitive advantage since rivals in neighboring Poland and Hungary are still subject to wildly fluctuating exchange rates which make calculations risky. But the switchover hasn't come for free. A few years ago, if a worker earned, say, 40,000 Slovakian karuna, it was worth about a thousand euros on the currency exchange market. But going on the basis of the official fixed exchange rate, it now amounts to 1,330 euros. In other words, our labor costs are increasing by 25 percent solely due to the change in the value of the crown compared to the euro. The official exchange rate was fixed in negotiations between the Slovakian and European central banks. Consumers in the country will benefit because they're now receiving more euros for their Slovakian karuna, but many fear retailers will simply start to raise prices. Businesses are also preparing for the switchover. Some retailers already accept euros, even though it's not the official legal tender until January the 1st. Of course we take euros, but we have to give change in Slovakian karuna. People need to start getting used to the new currency. Teta, which means aunt, is a supermarket chain in the Bratislava area. The products here are all marked in both euros and crowns, and there's no confusion about the exchange rate. It's 30.1260 to 1. It's a number that initially will be especially troublesome for businesses. They're going to need lots of small change to pay the difference correctly, down to the last cent. This supermarket has stocked up on 60,000 euros in small coins and hired a security guard to watch over the small fortune. The chain began ordering the new currency back in October, so that enough change would be on hand for the transition. It's unproductive money for us. We can't use it yet or invest it. It's just lying around here. Most Slavaks are happy about the change. Becoming the latest member of the Eurozone seems a good enough reason to give up their old currency.